I'm Moena and today I'm going to be channeling on the topic of how to become successful. So I'm going to be handing it over to my team of light and finding out the higher perspective on this topic. So keep watching. So let's first begin by speaking about the topic of success. Success will have different meanings to different people. But for now, let's speak about success on, in terms of mastering and remembering your own power. So before coming into this lifetime, you had the ability to create instantaneously. And so in this lifetime, you are remembering your power and remembering how to be able to create and manifest things in this dimension and in this realm where there is a time delay. So the first thing in order to become successful is to know and have a clear desired experience. So you must have a destination that you are wanting to reach. If you are unsure of what you are wanting to experience, it's almost like it can be described as booking a flight to no destination. You may end up in an array of different areas. And so the first point to becoming successful is to have a general idea of the destination of where you're wanting to go. This completes the equation. Once you know the desired destination and outcome of what you're wanting to experience, you already hold that vibrational frequency within you, allowing for the field and your life to respond to that and start bringing and attracting to you these people, places, situations, and opportunities. So the first thing is to have a cleared outcome and destination. The second thing to becoming successful is in remembering the fine line. So there is a fine line between wanting too much and being open to receive. It's about having an anticipation and an excitement for the outcome that you are wanting without needing it to happen, without wanting it too much, as that then tips the scale of the energy into now, rather than being open and eager and anticipating, you are more needing and wanting to a further degree that actually closes your energy to it. It's almost more of a stronger energy that does not allow it to come in quite as easily. So the second thing is to have that fine line and an eager want to experience this outcome without the neediness of it needing to take place. The third thing to becoming successful and achieving the experience that you're wanting to achieve is to then notice the signs and the opportunities to start carving a pathway in that direction. It's not enough to simply visualize and want something to take place, but steps are also needed in order to allow the journey to unfold. Again, it's a two-step equation of the having the vision and the clear intention, as well as taking the steps to allowing this to manifest. It's not so much about just doing one or the other, but it's a balancing of the energy, of the being tuned in to the intuitive energy into the being open and receptive to ideas, inspiration coming in, but also the balance in then taking action upon these ideas and inspirations that are going to help you 
get to where you're wanting to go. The fourth step within this process is to learn to enjoy the journey as you go. So what you will notice is that at first, perhaps the motivation to wanting to experience this is a very clear desired outcome that you're wanting to experience. But what is likely to happen is that once you embark on that journey, once you're in it and you're enjoying the journey, the necessity for the outcome that you first set might start to dissipate. So it might become less important to you, less highlighted to you, as you are in the moment, on the journey there, enjoying that. And that is the key way to actually accelerate your way to the end goal. So it's having it in sight, but also allowing yourself to get lost in the journey and the process of the steps you are taking to get there and finding enjoyment in them. As you will have heard, it is about learning to enjoy the journey to the destination. And the fifth point we would like to make about how to become successful is to find the meaning in what you are doing. This is the final step that we mentioned, but perhaps one of the most important. Understanding and knowing why this is important to you and seeing the bigger effect that it will have, not only positive impact in your life, but in the life of others. Once you are connecting to a selfless state where you are mm, contributing, then that is an accelerating factor as now you are merging and becoming united with the energy of the universe. You're becoming, you're collaborating with the components of your life, with people and with the energy of the universe. The energy that is supportive of that uh, is not so much being just an individual and out to create benefit only for one's self without creating a mutual beneficial situation, you may see that if there are people doing that, then they will not necessarily get so far with their projects as the laws of the universe are much more supportive of those who are contributing and collaborating and giving as well as balanced in a balanced way receiving. So you are uniting to the field of the universe and supporting others in a way that is meaningful and fulfilling to you. And you see many of the motives that people have in the beginning to achieve and create goals can come from a want to live in a better way or feel better than they do or create a real sense of well-being but the thing is that this already starts to get built on the journey it does not mean that you must wait until the end result to experience this you're already taking the steps in moving forwards and in doing that you will notice more and more levels of good feelings, uh, shared emotions, and better levels of living on the journey, which is what is then fulfilling the original want for the end result. And this is also why then the need for the end result to become completed and the desperation for it melts away because you're already becoming fulfilled and sense of completion on the way there. And so it's this shift in energy which then allows for that end result to come manifest much faster and so the last thing we would like to share with you is to simply remember your power you are divine beings that far exceed the limitations of your body you are multi-dimensional 
you have the power and ability to tap into the energies of the universe and to manifest and succeed in anything that you set the intention to do so. You are so very loved. And we look forward to connecting again soon. So there you have it. Five steps on becoming successful. Since becoming successful means becoming the person we need to become to achieve this success, check out my video on becoming the best you. If you enjoyed these videos, you can click subscribe and the bell to receive notifications of future videos. Until next time, have a beautiful, beautiful day.